Welcome back to the breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Anchor's Soundcore brand set of A3i wireless earbuds. Now these are brand new wireless earbuds recently released by Soundcore Anchor's Sound brand, and they're the cheaper version of their A40 Space Edition um, earbuds. Now that brand has a lot of great features in it that this also has, like um, noise cancellation, great battery life, and a whole lot more. But these cost half the price. Why are you giving up? Why are you sacrificing? We're gonna be looking at these budget-friendly version of those earbuds in the A3i. Now, I will put a link to the A40 version down below in the show notes down below and in the first pin comment if you wanna see that review. First thing, a few disclaimers. This were um, not sent to me as review units. I did pay my own money for these, so keep that in mind. Pricing on these changes so rapidly, I will put a link to them on Amazon, but I hate to give you a price here other than to say that these are about half the price um, as the more expensive A40 version. If you want to find current pricing, link in the show notes and in the first pinned comment to it on Amazon. Lastly, before we get into the full review, if you're new here and you want to help us grow this channel, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We would really appreciate it because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people helping us grow this channel. With that said, let's dive into it. Let's just start off taking a look at the case and the actual wireless earbuds here. It does have USB-C, which I love how uh, Anchor has gone completely USB-C on pretty much everything now. US micro USB should be gone. It's a clamshell design, very standard. Flip up size here. Let's pull one of these wireless earbuds out. And it's a pretty standard set of uh, little earbuds here. And it does have a rubber adapters here that comes with three different sizes, small, medium, large, comes with the medium already connected, and the pouch was a small and a large there to adapt to your ears. It's meant for you to put it in kind of vertical and then rotate it back a little bit to help secure a lock-in for best audio quality and best comfort. The one big difference here between the A40 and the A3i is the A3i is not a touch here. There's a tiny little button right here that you can press to do things like single press volume up, double press or play pause, and long hold for it to rotate different noise cancellation modes. I actually kind of like the button on it. Um, sometimes, especially if I have gloves on, I'm being in Michigan, it gets cold out, the um, physically touch sensors don't work well with gloves, can get annoying. I like having a physical button that even if I'm wearing gloves will work just fine. So actually, I kind of like that feature. I kind of wish more. Touch is great, touch looks cool. But sometimes a physical button is all you need and I kinda wish more wireless earbuds would go that way. Um, now let's talk about the actual quality of this. Let's start off with battery life. Advertise is about nine hours per charge. You get multiple charges from the case. Now that's nine hours once you take it out of the case, plug it in, start listening to power. That's when you listen to the audio at about 50%, so keep that in mind. If you're maxing out the volume, it uses more power to kinda generate that louder audio does reduce the battery power. In my testing, about eight to nine hours seems very reasonable for an average audio listening with music, audiobooks, podcasts, etc. Audio quality overall is very good, especially for the price you're paying. Now, this is not a uh, Bose Wave Radio or Beats Audio $300 set of wireless earbuds. You are getting a more budget-friendly sound, but I will say it does a good job. It may not be the best out there. There's probably better ones out there, but I'm not sure if there's better ones out there in this price point. I know the A40 does have slightly better audio with it, but again, that's twice the amount of money. So keep that in mind. Phone calls is very good. In my testing, both inside and out with wind and noise as I go for a walk, making a phone call was very easy. I easily understood them. They understood me. Overall, two thumbs up on the phone call quality with it. Now the noise cancellation. This is kind of where I noticed the big difference between the A40 and the A3i. These cheaper ones definitely don't have as good of noise cancellation, as good of transparency mode. But overall, it's actually pretty good. For the sub, I paid 50 uh, bucks about for this. For that price, the noise cancellation was actually, noise cancellation was actually pretty good. Not amazing. Not like I'm gonna be blacking out all the noise from a uh, for example, airplane trip. But overall, if I'm just around the house, I'm trying to concentrate, they do a good job of kind of isolating you, just kind of taking out a lot of that background noise you may hear with it. It does allow you to rotate between three different settings. For example, you can have 
full noise cancellation mode. You can have transparency mode where it takes the microphone and passes it through to you. So you can actually like almost like a hearing aid, hear what's around you, which is great. Maybe you're in an airport, maybe you're in a busy city, walking around, you wanna know what's happening around you. So if a car's coming up around you, whatever, you can hear it. That's a great option. And then there's the normal mode, which basically just shuts off the um, microphones, it shuts off the noise cancellation. You just hear things happening around you like you would expect. So those are the three main points. Overall, I would say they're good. These are very good set wireless earbuds. Again, if you're willing to pay a lot more money, there's ones with better sound, there's ones with better microphones built to it, and there's ones with better noise cancellation. I'm just not sure there's that anything better at this price point. So keep that in mind. Quality, the build overall is very good. I actually love the size of the case. The case is very small, fits in my jeans just fine. I like um, keeping the wireless earbuds with me as I'm going in and out of different meetings, waiting for phone calls. I'm often busy working when I get work calls. I don't want to stop editing videos, writing something, whatever I'm doing. Having a set of wireless earbuds with me allows me to take calls, keep multitasking out there. So I love carrying ones around. And this is a great set. Some wireless earbuds cases are crazy big. And they're not very comfortable just to keep in your pocket. These ones are. So that's another great selling point. Overall, quality is good of audio, of phone calls, and the actual build of the devices. So I'm going to give this two thumbs up for the price point. As always, if you're willing to pay more, there's better out there. The A40 is a great option if you're willing to pay double the price. But if you're looking for a set of budget-friendly wireless earbuds, these are probably it. And they're actually very comfortable to wear. So I will put a link to them in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. You can find them on Amazon there. If you have any questions, if I didn't answer anything you may have, leave me a question. I will do my best to answer them in the comments. And if you like what we do, help me grow this channel. Help me support my family. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let YouTube know what you enjoy what we do here. So until next time, take care. Be safe. We'll be back again real soon.